Hi, this is Alejandro, and welcome to how to set up DJI NASA flight controller with GPS and your radio system on a quadcopter. A number of people sent me emails asking if I could post the videos of my setup, that is how to set up DJI NASA system with their radios. Um, well, I cannot post the videos of showing the setup of each and every radio, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take an example of Futaba THJ radio system. That is my THJ sitting there. All right, I'll take this radio as an example and show you how to uh, do the setup for the RTH failsafe, um, failsafe RTH, or on-demand RTH, and other options of DJI NASA using the Futaba THJ system. Uh, I'll be using a Futaba R two O O eight SB receiver system. That's a two point four GHZ and OFM new supercopter that is OFM 450 supercopter now what's different in OFM 450 supercopter that is another question well this supercopter is simply more powerful because now the motors are bigger and 800 kV more powerful motors and the ESC's are 30 amp so 4S is not a big problem it will take 4S setup 5300 or 6000 mAh milliamp batteries with a smile now with these 30 amp opto ESCs. So 30 amp opto ESCs and 800 kV motors are going to be a powerful setup for this. So that is why I'm calling it the OFM 450 Supercopter. All right. I just finished building it. I'm going to show you uh, step by step everything, how I'm putting everything inside. So I will first show you installation of uh, DJI NASA connections to the receiver, etc, etc, and everything. And then we will go ahead and see the setup with Futaba THJ and using a computer setting up the options with DJI Assist. Uh, get your apples ready. Mm. Okay then, first off, pick up your DJI NASA and uh, using the supplied cables uh, connect them to aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, channel U or channel 5 which is uh, used to uh, change the flight modes, channel X1 or channel 6 that is used to set the remote gains or camera tilt angle control, camera gimbal tilt angle control X2, another channel that you can use for intelligent orientation control switching or you can use it to remotely set the gains using X2 uh, channel on your DJI Assist or radio. Now X2 is channel 7, remember that, and X3 is your uh, versatile unit that is power unit connects here. Here the LED or power unit will simply connect to X3. All right and the other big cable from the power unit or versatile unit will connect to the left port which is at least which actually says LED all right your GPS will connect to EXP or expansion port so remember that so for now I'm gonna disconnect it so we can see all these cables now I'm gonna pick up my receiver so now here it is the receiver Futaba R208 SB for Futaba TNG I'm using it um, so uh, this video cannot be used to uh, set up your spectrum or JR radios. Remember, so this is especially so this is especially Futaba uh, setup video. All right. So from DJI NASA, Aileron will connect to your channel one because on Futaba, channel one is your ailerons. Then from DJI NASA, elevator will connect to channel 2 throttle from DJI NASA will connect to channel 3 rudder from DJI NASA will connect to channel 4 channel U from DJI NASA will connect to channel 5 channel X1 from DJI NASA will connect to channel 6 and channel X2 from DJI NASA will connect to channel 7. Now using an 8 channel radio you still have one free channel 
to do whatever you want, to make something else. Camera up tilt angle maybe, or fire a missile, whatever you like. Trigger an explosion of your quadcopter, hit a building. Oh, what am I thinking? Anyway, so now you can see it's very, very simple. All right, connections are simple. Aileron to channel 1, elevator to channel 2, throttle to channel 3, radar to channel 4, U to channel 5, X1 to channel 6, X2 to channel 7. And X3 is, of course, your versatile unit LED. And now you can connect the big one connector to the LED port of your DJI NASA. Okay, remaining port is your GPS. Here it is, the GPS, and it will connect to GPS port. All right, all the connections are done. Now on DJI NASA, you have M1 to M6, that is six ESCs can connect here. Remember, if you're using Opto ESCs without BEC, you can connect them directly to these ports without taking the red cable out. But if you're using the ESCs with BEC enabled, uh, then you need to take the red cable out of them. So if you see here, this cable, I'm using it as it is. I did not take anything out because I'm using Opto ESCs without BEC. But if your ESC has a BEC, please remove the red cable from your ESC connector. All right, now. Coming back to DJI NASA, F1 and F2 are your tilt and roll angle stabilization ports. So uh, at the moment on this quadcopter, I'm not using any camera gimbal, so we'll forget about it. M1 is your ESC1, M2 your ESC2, M3 is your ESC3, and M4 is your ESC4 in case of quadcopter. Now looking at the quadcopter, keeping, keeping the black forward and white backward, your forward right is ESC1 forward left is ESC2, backward left is ESC3, backward right is ESC4. So go ahead and connect them. Make sure you match the polarity. Now go ahead and set the DJI NASA glue it or stick it, I would say double sided tape. Uh, not very hard, not very soft, one only should be enough. Mount the DJI NASA here in the center. So. Uh, after mounting the NASA here, mount your receiver anywhere you want, versatile unit under the quadcopter. And um, after that, I will go ahead and put the top plate on, finish the rest of the setup, and move on to the computer setup, DGA Assist, and show you how to set your Futaba THJ channels and other stuff to actually set all those little, little tricks that I am showing you in my videos.